हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बीजेटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हियर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन अमंग डिफरेंट करंट एंड वोल्टेज ऑफ ए ट्रांजिस्टर दिस बीजेटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स गिव्स द बिहेवियर ऑफ अ ट्रांजिस्टर एंड देर आर टू सेट ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स which give the behavior of a transistor they are input characteristics and output characteristics input characteristics is a curve which gives the relationship between input current and input voltage for a given output voltage output characteristics is also a curve which give the relationship between output current and output voltage for a given input current let us move to the first topic characteristics of a common base configuration this is the circuit of a common base configuration here the input characteristics and output characteristics of a common base configuration are explained in detail here the base terminal is taken as common to both input and output here input is given to emitter base terminal and output is taken from the collector base terminal to measure the input current here the input current is emitter current to measure the input current an ammeter is connected in series between an input resistor re and emitter and to measure the emitter base voltage a voltmeter is connected in parallel across the emitter base terminal similarly to measure the output current here output current is collector current and ammeter is connected in series with output resistor rc and collector terminal and to measure collector base voltage a voltmeter is connected in parallel with the terminal collector to base here ammeter is an instrument to measure the current and voltmeter is an instrument to measure voltage this is the basic circuit arrangement of a common base configuration by using this circuit we are going to draw on the input characteristics and output characteristics of a common base configuration first is the input characteristics to plot the input characteristics of common base configuration we have to plot the emitter base voltage on x axis and emitter current across y axis here the input voltage is emitter base voltage which is represented in x axis and the input current is emitter current which is represented in y axis and here uh, in graph there are three graphs are represented one with a vcb 1 volt and second with a vcb 5 volt and third with a vcb 10 volt let us discuss first the collector base voltage of 1 volt here first we are arranging the collector base voltage as 1 volt by varying the output supply voltage by arranging vcb as 1 volt here we are fixing the vcb to 1 volt then we increase the input voltage here the input voltage is emitter base voltage plotted in x axis we increase the emitter base voltage step by step here we increases the emitter volt base voltage by 0.1 volt when we increases the emitter base voltage by 0.1 volt up to cut in voltage or threshold voltage or knee voltage the current flowing through the input terminal means here input current is zero when the emitter base voltage reach the cut in voltage or knee voltage the emitter current starts to flow when we increase the emitter to base voltage 
in large value greater than the knee voltage then input current that is emitter current increases rapidly at collector to base voltage 1 volt when we increases the emitter to base voltage then there will be a small change in emitter current when we increase the emitter to base voltage in large value the also emitter current increases not rapidly but when we set the volt collector base voltage as 5 volt we do all these process with the collector base voltage 5 volt and 10 volt so after uh, fixing vcb 1 volt and then we increase the emitter base voltage and take the reading of emitter current we increase the emitter base voltage by step by step and increases it by 0.1 volt then we uh, take the reading of ie and a plotted it in graph then we get the graph as in as vcb equal to 1 volt shown in the input characteristics which is the first graph vcb equal to 1 volt so next step is when we fix the collector base voltage to 5 volt and then do all these procedures means here we increase the emitter to base voltage step by step by 0.1 volt and then take the emitter current reading and plot it in graph then we get the graph as look like in here vcb equal to 5 volt in this vcb equal to 5 volt on comparing with a vcb equal to 1 volt we can see that when emitter base voltage increases the emitter current increases rapidly and turns more to left if we do these procedures with a vcb equal to 10 volt we can see that in this graph the emitter current increases very rapidly more than vcb equal to 5 and 1 volt this is the main characteristics that we have given from the input characteristics here input characteristics give the relationship between emitter current and emitter to base voltage for a constant collector to base voltage this input characteristics is also called base curve of a transistor input characteristics is mainly used to determine the value of ac input resistance AC input resistance is defined as the ratio of change in emitter base voltage to change in emitter current for a constant collector to base voltage VCB. So we can write the AC input resistance in equation form as Ri equal to delta VEB by delta IE at constant VCB. Input characteristics is linear in upper region. In graph, we can say that in upper portion, the input characteristics is linear. But in lower portion, the input characteristics is non-linear. Input characteristics shift upward by increasing the value of VCP due to base width modulation or early effect. Here, the shift towards or um, towards y-axis or uh, shift upward by increasing the value of vcb is mainly due to base width modulation or early effect the base width modulation is a concept when we forward biases the collector base junction um, the width of the base varies when we increases the collector base junction uh, voltage the width of the base also increases here the variation or modulation of the effective base width by collector voltage is called early effect or base width modulation in a pn junction we know that the width of depletion region increases 
as the reverse voltage increases. Reverse bias voltage across the collector base junction increases. The width of the depletion region also increases. Here the base is very lightly doped. And the base is very thin compared to collector. Therefore the depletion region penetrates deeper into base region and lesser into collector region that means here the base width varies this process is called base width modulation or early effect this base width modulation or early effect is mainly due to the collector voltage here the variation or modulation of the effective base width is mainly by collector voltage and this is called early effect or base width modulation. So base width modulation is the main reason for shifting the input characteristics to upward when we increase the VCB from 1 to 5 then 5 to 10 the input characteristic shifts to upward and in upper region the characteristics become linear and in lower region the input characteristics become non-linear. Next one is the output characteristics. To plot the output characteristics we are going to represent output voltage. Here output voltage is collected to base voltage on x-axis and output current on y axis here output current is collector current at constant emitter current here at constant input current here input current is emitter current so here also we fix the input current on particular values and then make changes in collector to base voltage and take the reading of output current collector current and then plot it in graph then we get the output character as shown the figure here first we arrange the value ie here ie is the input current to 2 milliampere on fixing the value ie equal to 2 milliampere here the input current is fixed by changing the input voltage once we fix the input uh, uh, fix the input current to 2 milliampere then we increase the collector to base voltage that means the output voltage or uh, output um, uh, voltage is increased in by step by step here the increases by 1 volt 2 volt likewise on increasing the collector to base voltage the output current also increases then we take the reading of collector current and plot it in graph for the constant emitter current ie equal to 2 milliampere similar procedures we done for ie equal to 4 milliampere 6 milliampere 8 milliampere and so on uh, we fix the ie equal to 4 milliampere by changing the input voltage and once we set the input current to 4 milliampere then we change the collector base voltage step by step and take the input output current here the output current is collector current in every step and then plot it in our graph and next one is uh, we fix our input current to 6 milliampere then we do all these procedures uh, we do uh, next step is our set the input current to 8 milliampere then we do all these procedures and then we plot this in our graph then we got the graph as we shown in the output characteristics here the output characteristics consist of mainly three region they are saturation region active region and a cutoff region on plotting the graph we can see that when VCB is negative means left of the shaded left of the dotted line when VCB is negative the current increases very rapidly current increases very rapidly that region is the saturation region 
that means the saturation region is the region left of the dashed line vertical dashed line in this region vcb is negative here vcb is negative means our transistor is forward biased in the saturation region in this region large amount of collector current flows this is a saturation region and next one is the active region active region is the region between vertical dashed lines and the horizontal axis means vcb and in the active region the collector current remains almost constant and approximate to the value emitter current approximate to uh, approximately equal to emitter current this is the region we call it as active region okay in active region uh, the collector current is equal to the emitter current and is constant and next region is the cutoff region the cutoff region is the region along the horizontal axis and it is the shaded portion in this graph here the emitter current is zero cutoff region collector current is also zero very small amount of collector current flows in the cutoff region this is due to leakage current leakage current is mainly due to the minority carriers so in an output characteristics we have three regions they are saturation region active region and a cutoff region in saturation region when we increases the collector base voltage the the large increase in collector current occur and in active region collector current is almost constant and equal to the emitter current and in cutoff region the output current is almost zero uh, very few amount of collector current flows that is uh, due to the leakage current this is the output characteristics of the common base transistor configuration so let us look into the points of the common base configuration here the common base configuration output characteristics is divided into three region as i said before they are saturation region active region and the cutoff region in saturation region vcb is negative small change in vcb result in large change in current active region in active region collector current is constant and is equal to emitter current and in cutoff region both junctions are reversed by us the small amount of current flows that we call it as approximate to zero then small amount of current is due to minority carriers we call it as leakage current the collector current is practically independent of vcb in the active region that means the uh, the collector current is almost constant that's why we call, we said it has independent voltage if vcb increases beyond a certain value that means when we increases the vcb to large extent the collector current increases rapidly due to avalanche breakdown and the due at these changes the transistor action is lost the output characteristics is used to mainly to measure the ac output resistance ac output resistance can be defined as the ratio of change in collector to base voltage to the collect change in collector current for a constant emitter current output resistance is very high for common base configuration these are the uh, important points that we can have to explain in the output characteristics of a common base configuration that's all in this video